slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up. No, you see my text, baby, please say something. by the glass, man. Hey y'all, welcome back to Taylor XO. Or if you are a new subscriber, welcome to Taylor XO. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Today, y'all, I'm just gonna be doing a um quick video about um Liv today. As y'all know, Liv did post yesterday two new pictures of her alleged baby daddy. As you guys know, if the girl is pregnant, that's not her baby daddy, but um, you know, just because she don't want to, you know, post solo and don't really want to say it. Her alleged fake baby daddy she did post yesterday and as it well let's just say this if you guys seen the first picture that she originally posted in the cop costume um you guys would know that that was two different men in the picture the first cop was um I think he was darker toned and um he had no facial hair um tattoos were completely different ears were completely different so um yeah, she went as far as to, and you know, be dumb enough to really post another man um, on her Instagram yesterday, two pictures of him, and it was a completely different man. And, um, you know, y'all, I'm not surprised. Um, this girl, she started the lie, and now she has to keep going with it. So, you know, she's going to go to very unnecessary and weird lengths to keep this lie going on. Um... I don't know why she did that knowing that there are so many people out on these internet streets um, that can search up Google image search any any pictures. Um, if y'all have watched Catfish, y'all know that um, anybody's picture you can put in a search bar and search it up to see where the hell the picture came from. A lot of people were saying the pictures came from Tinder, a Tinder profile, um, a, a POF profile because y'all know um, her last two men she's found off POF. So. Um, I don't know if um, if that's where the pictures came from, um, but um, somebody will come out with uh, where they found the pictures. Um, and if y'all know when she was with Brandon and Zolo, um, as you guys always know, like she at least posted a picture with like you know them two holding hands, like a picture of the the two hands together, or they will post. Um, like voice recordings or you know just him there but you know the emoji over his face so it's fake um at this point now she's been claiming you know she's had a new man and and if 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 people really want to get technical Liv went back to say that she actually was cheating on Zolo if um the live was deleted and I never was able to uh screen record where she said it I don't even think anybody got the screen recording of it but she did say that she did cheat on Zolo and that she was sleeping with this man before her and Zolo even were done and that um nobody knew the timeline of when her and Zolo stopped having sex so that tells me that she was sleeping with this man already before Zolo was out the door and if that was the case then sweetie you would already be um further along a, a tiny bit further along at this point and you would be able to come on here and at least you know say say something say something of an ultrasound a date or something um which makes it even all the more suspect um so you know if that is the case you know and you've been seeing this man why can't you just come online and or and 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 show a voice recording something because as you got as you guys know she tried to claim and say that the voice recording and the video that she posted a while back ago after her and zolo broke up she even went as far as to say that that was the dude that she is with now in the video um the, of the voice recording that's who she's with now but as you guys know wolf of brooklyn already came out and said that that was him um in the video and so um you know if if this is your man that you've been with for you know long enough as you, as you guys know two three months is long enough for this girl that's just how she is so if you have been with this man long enough why have you not taken a picture with him said anything you know that you're with him why did he not come to that doctor's appointment why is why are you always by yourself 
why there's there's so many questions I have and there's so much stuff that's not leading up. So at this point, Sis is either gonna have to tell the truth um, and come out and say that this whole thing is fake or she's going to have to come on these YouTube streets and really show some receipts on that pregnancy, which we know yet again is not the new guys. We know is Zolo's. And I know she's ashamed if she is pregnant, that she is pregnant by that bum. But at the end of the day, sis, you're already pregnant. There's nothing you can do. You decided to keep it. So at this point, now we have to move on and you have to um, be real with your supporters. Supporters, you have a platform of supposedly over, you know, close to 100,000. Just come on here and be real because you're you're losing more than you're gaining at this point. And you say that, you know, you don't you don't want to have you don't want no bum to have one up over you. But at this point, Zolo is probably making more money off YouTube than you are right now, because you you don't post. You're not po you don't you you're not posting anything. You're she's being super secretive. Just since you already came out with the lie, there's already all these suspicions, allegedly everything going on about you. So why not just say it already that. Um, you're either not pregnant or you don't have this imaginary man that you say you do. Um, and there's even a big rumor going around saying that um, Liv's sister's pregnant, that Liv is really not. So, you know, she's using her sister's test and her sister's whole thing to, you know, pass it off that she's pregnant. There's that. Um, I know she does follow Raquel on Instagram and I do follow Raquel on Instagram and um Raquel does not post any personal things on her Instagram except for like nail pictures um and even if she did post anything I'm sure um she does not have anybody from Liv's platform on her IG or her Facebook so um as of right now I mean we really don't know if Ra Raquel is pregnant or not so it's just an allegedly um I don't know who got that rumor out um somebody had to have seen something of some sort that Raquel is pregnant in order for that rumor, rumor to come out um it's also rumored that you know Gerard came and picked up the bins we have not seen that bins in since for what a week a little over a week now um and she's always driving the bins we just see her in the truck now so it's been alleged that he took the the the, the bins and she's now just in the truck um Gerard will not come on here and say if that's true um I heard a friend this morning say that she was going to try to get in touch with Nisi to, to, to confirm that because Nisi would know um, if uh, Gerard came and took the bins. Um, <clears throat> and you know, Liv's not going to come on here and actually say that Gerard came and picked up the bins. She's actually been MIA off YouTube since she made that doctor's appointment video that people were saying that she was lying about. So y'all, it's just a matter of time till the receipts or the tea drops on this girl that, you know, she's lying and this is fake. You know, she could come on here and show the ultrasound picture and, you know, say, bam, prove everybody wrong. But sis, you're still lying because you're not pregnant by the new man. And that's where you messed up. You know, you should have just came on here and said, you know, I had a, a, a rocky relationship with Zolo. You know, he's a bum, but, you know. Um, I had to learn that for myself. You know, I made a mistake. I, I, I did get pregnant by this man, but at the end of the day, this is my baby. I don't do abortions and I'm going to raise it regardless with his help or not, whether he's there or not. You know, that's some grown woman type ish taking responsibility that you that you were opening your legs up there for that bum every day. Because y'all know Zolo said it. She was getting mad as hell when he wouldn't have sex with her. So you open up you open up your legs. Now, sis, take the responsibility. Own, own up to it. Own that child and move on and just put out and move on with your channel. All this, you know, you drop you drop a lie and then you go off the internet for four days and then you come back on and then it's another lie and then you got to come back off and then you tell another lie. Since you're digging a deeper hole and this is your money involved. This is not just, you know, your your identity. This is money on the line. You know, you, you feed your kids with this money. You pay your bills with this money. So... Be a little bit smarter about your money. Stop goofing off on these YouTube streets. And sis, just come on here and be real and say what it really is. You're pregnant by a bum that you didn't want to, you know, you didn't want to abort the baby. You're going to have it and that's it. You know, be on your boss bitch stuff that you claim to be. You know, everybody makes mistakes that, you know, they wish that they could never, that they could take back and wish it never happened because, you know, it did, uh... It was, you know, the starting point of, um, you know, something bad in our life. But you cannot look at a child like that. At the end of the day, that is a child. And the child didn't ask to be here. You know, the child, the child did not ask to be here. And, you know, 
um, I'm sure that y'all will one day probably, you know, I hope she doesn't, or he or she doesn't come on this this platform and see that you were so secretive and lied about a child that, you know, should be a uh, such a good thing that you so-called claimed in, in your last live or two. So, y'all, I don't know what's to come of this thing with Liv. She's eventually going to come on here and drop either another lie or she's going to tell the truth. Whichever one you guys think, comment down below, y'all. Um... Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned, y'all. Um, do you think somebody will eventually come out and expose this new man? Who is this new man? Is this a Tinder man, a POF man? Um, or is this the security guard that was patrolling the parking lot that, you know, this this is really what she said she is, but this is really what she says it is, but it's just not, um, it is not her baby daddy. And we already know that if this girl is pregnant. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're so close to 1K, you guys. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Keep watching. Keep staying tuned for more great content. More content on the way. Um, thank you guys so much. Have a nice day.